Do you have a big idea, a story, the project you're constantly thinking about, the one that you've been building your skills up for? Well, I'm here to give you at least a few words of caution. If you're a visual artist, most people who come to this channel are, it naturally makes sense that it will take lots of practice and multiple drawings or sculptures or paintings to make something good, and especially something great. And if you gave up after just one drawing, you'd never improve. And if you spent five or 10 years just thinking about the drawing that you'd like to make before actually putting pencil to paper, how do you think that would go? If you're like me though, there's a purpose that you're working toward, a catalyst for this work, a universe, a story, a viewpoint, a narrative. A lot of times this big idea of yours is a big undertaking. The story will take chapter after chapter of comics to tell the story, or dozens of hours of work per minute of animation on screen. But you wouldn't start working on this project back when you were first learning how to draw. Obviously your skills wouldn't be up to par and you'd probably be unsure you'd be able to manage everything. And of course, you're never 100% ready to do any project and there's a lot of value in learning through growing, but it doesn't seem like a very good idea to start working on the final product of your idea on day zero of drawing. So this is my admonishment to you. Treat storytelling like a craft the same way that you do drawing. Don't go all in on one story right away. Start small. The thing is, storytelling is as much a skill as drawing is. There are writers with a capital W the same way that there are artists with a capital A. And it's strange, there are some extremely skilled professional artists out there who will go all in on their own story and the writing and storytelling tends to feel underbaked, like a story that skipped leg day. Storytelling often comes from your own voice and experiences. It can almost be autobiographical in nature sometimes. But storytelling is also a craft, being able to clearly show a story with well-developed characters who go through arcs and work around a central message or theme. And it takes even more to convey these things visually in a way that's both clear but also engaging. The thing is, too, that it takes a lot of time to tell stories through visual images. Comics and animation are two of the most time-intensive mediums you can work in. So my advice is to start small. Create smaller, manageable stories in relatively the same way that you do quick sketches in order to study and practice. Share these stories with others around you, see what works and what doesn't, and then repeat. Sometimes we may be ready to tell our big story, but the project itself seems really daunting. So for example, if issue or chapter number one of your comic is that initial piece that seems too big to tackle, my advice is usually to try and make an issue or chapter zero. So take even just one or two of your characters from your story uh, ahead of the events of chapter one, right? And tell a story with them. Make it clear, make it short, show and tell us something about those characters. Maybe uh, let them go through a small mini arc that tells us something about them. And usually going through this process is a really good way toward building momentum toward the bigger project. All of this plays into a bigger idea I've been thinking a lot about recently, which is the creator of a thing versus the creation. Where does the value lie? And I think that it lies in the creator of that thing. They had the ability to bring that thing into existence and they have the ability to bring something else or something even better into existence too. And as a side note, I am talking exclusively about the way that a creator views their own creation. I'm not trying to give an excuse here to allow people to justify stealing work or devaluing work or asking for work for free. So something to think about here is if you spend years of time just thinking about a project, not even working on it, are you maybe viewing your idea too preciously? Do you feel like maybe it's the only good idea you'll ever have? Do you lack the confidence to see that you could create more work just like it or maybe even better? Oftentimes we see the work of an artist, a storyteller, a filmmaker, and people love this narrative of the rookie of the year, the person who made something perfect on their first try, a person who made no mistakes. 
But studios don't hand a $150 million budget to a director, actors, producers, and screenwriters who have no experience. Rembrandt and Michelangelo and Da Vinci sketched and studied long before they made their masterpieces. And even Spielberg and Christopher Nolan made small films before they made big ones. And what's interesting about all of those artists that I just mentioned is that they all have more than one significant work that we can point to. They didn't or haven't put all of their eggs in one basket. And while it's true that everyone will eventually make the best thing that they'll ever make, those things don't appear out of thin air. They're benefited by the work, the trial and error, and the experiences that come with the projects they did beforehand. So even though there's nothing wrong with the word storyteller, in the context of the things that we're talking about here, I ask of you, please, strive to be a stories teller. Your best work will thank you. That's it for me today. I'm making new videos every week here on Character Design Forge. Subscribing lets you know when new videos are made available. If you'd like to support me and this channel, you can go to patreon.com slash bageldenizen and get a ton of things in return, including a personalized video critique of your work, which can just help you level up your art, writing, storytelling, design skills, and that's a really good way to support me in, in turn. If you'd like to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, or Twitch, my name is the same on all of them. It's at bageldenizen. Thank you so much for watching and have fun creating.